will Harry Styles be on the Zoom? You know what? If a guy's willing to lie for me, maybe he's the one. Hi, guys. My name is Lilia Buckingham. I am 17, and I'm here with my best friend, Emily, to do Bestie Picks Bay. Hi, I'm Emily Skinner. I'm 18 years old, and Lily is going to be finding me a bay today. I have a lot of hope in her. I think she'll do good. She, I feel like she knows what I like, so I, I'm counting on her. I have terrible luck with relationships with like I I'm so bad at finding people I like like sticking with people I, I just like I'm so bad at relationships and Lilia is very good at like being in stable relationships and like finding good people and so she's always trying to help me out with that like all the time she'll be like what about this person this person and so I feel like she's better at finding like healthy nice people for me I just I'm sometimes because like there'll be a nice person and Emily's like no and I'm like but me too nice boring. no so we'll see if she likes my suggestions it's okay if not we're still young it's all yeah. good it'll be I super fun like, either way yeah I feel like Lilia has my best interest at her probably more than I do even so I feel like she'll be better at this than I am I like artistic I like very adventurous people, like willing to do anything with me, go on adventures, travel with me, like just like down for anything. Um, not like cocky or full of themselves, like very down to earth, very humble. Um, I like people who are like open-minded, like open to no, no judgment, not judgmental. I like People with cool styles. I do like style. I like when people have like artistic styles, kind of their own thing. It doesn't really matter what it is. I just kind of like when they are unique. And I like athletic. I don't really care about sports, but like, you know, they'll like go on hikes with me and like, you know, maybe they'll be able to like look me up. But I like skinny boys. Like, I don't care about looks at all. I really don't. Kurt Cobain my all time, like number one, like no one will ever, I think it's why I can't find a, a person today because he's just there. Um, and then ASAP Rocky, beautiful. Timothy Chalamet, you know, everyone loves him. I like, oh, um, I love River Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Those are my celebrity crushes. Standards for Emily are gonna be super high. So if these people are kind and respectful, have that artistic, creative, open mind mentality. I think maybe that's a good sign. If you do a bad job, I will <laughs> never let you make fun of me for picking bad people ever again, because her biggest thing with me is like, you pick the worst people, you have terrible taste. <laughs> if she does a bad job on this, <laughs> I, you can't ever say that. You can't make fun of me ever again. All right, well, let's go find you a bear, I guess. Let's bring on the bays. Hi, I'm Jared. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm 19 years old. And a fun, crazy fact about me is that I'm born with six toes on my left foot. Really? <laughs> crazy, right? My name's Josh. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I'm 20 years old. And recently I was walking home and I saw two people running with bags. I'm like, why are they running? And then somebody pops out of the apartment nearby and says, chase after them. I didn't know why, but I ran after them. And I lost them because I was slow and they had a bunch of adrenaline because they had just robbed somebody in the apartment over there. Oh my God. Oh my, God. my name is Jalen. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. And a fun fact about me is I have over 250,000 TikTok followers. I'm Spencer. I am 19 years old, born in Sacramento. And my uh, fun fact is I, was, I once had a scar in fourth grade on my head. It's still kind of visible, but it's like right here. It's like here. You just kind of have to look. Hi, my name is Kamal. I'm 18. I live in New York, Queens, and I actually co-own a, a business, a barber shop with a, my friend. Actually, gave me this haircut. My name is Zion. I'm 20 years old. Uh, I live in Tampa, Florida, but I'm from Orlando, and I lived in Germany for two years. 
I was just there because my dad, he's in the military, so. Hi, I'm Clayton. I'm currently living in Tucson, Arizona. I'm 18 years old. And the fun fact is that I have uh, created my own line of Joe Biden flags, which includes this one of him <laughs> eating a hot dog. Eating. So, thank you. My name's Campbell. I'm 20 years old. I'm currently living in Jersey City, New Jersey, and I broke my foot when I was three trying to fly. My name is Preston. I'm from Borges, New Jersey. I'm currently 20 years old. And a fun fact about me is when I was seven, I once had a full blown conversation with a squirrel. I saw a squirrel one day and I was just like, he was like, I was like. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Chino Hills, California. And I've been a class clown all throughout school. My name's Lilia and this is Emily. Emily has been my best friend for like three years, three and a half years at this point. She's the best person I know. So that is why I'm very selective with who she should be dating, who she shouldn't be dating because she deserves the best in the world. Okay, so my first question is pretty simple. It's what's your favorite color? Green is definitely my favorite color. It's um, scientifically proven to be the most soothing color to the eyes. My favorite color is blue because the first thing I notice when looking at someone is their eye color and my favorite eye color is blue. My favorite color is black and it's black because, I mean, black goes with anything you wear. My favorite color, in case you also can't tell, is uh, blue. That's because, uh, honestly, I don't know. I've always liked blue for the longest time, so. Uh, my favorite color is black also because it's simple, you know, it's simple, but like it looks good. I don't have to think too much about it. I think I'm going to say my favorite color is red. Uh, I love red. I love wearing red. And I think red just describes my personality. I'm very passionate. My favorite color is also red and um, I don't got a reason. Uh, red and I are just homies. I don't have any science or like cute reasoning to back it up, but I just really love yellow. It's just such a happy color in my opinion. It's yellow, but it's like a specific type of yellow. It's like a goldish, brightish yellow, almost like Campbell's shirt. My favorite color is um, blue. I've always just liked blue. I know that Emmy loves when things like have a deeper meaning and an explanation. So I'm just, I feel like Emmy and Andrew wouldn't connect in the sense. So sorry though, you seem super fun. I mean, at least I made it this far, even though it's like one round. See you guys on the flip side. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's okay, you know, we win some, we do some. As long as she finds somebody that treats her right, it's all that matters. This is my second question. It's very important because Emmy loves music and has the best music taste ever. So what are your top three tracks? Like your, they can be your favorite songs right now, your favorite songs of all time. First one that comes to mind is Dreams of Yesterday by Mac DeMarco. It's just talking about like not letting your dreams just be dreams. Anything from Home Shake's Fresh Air album. I love Home Shake. And then and No Such Thing as Good and Evil by Deli Girls. Good taste. <laughs> Uh, Drew Barrymore by Bryce Vine. Um, I also really, really like Unforgettable by French Montana. And the last one is Watermelon Sugar because I love blasting that song with the windows down, just driving. I like Point of View by Ariana Grande, maybe because I hear it on TikTok all the time. It just like stuck in my head. I also like Stuck With You with Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. I gotta go with my Christian music, uh, Kirk Franklin. I gotta go with Smile, top three. Any Disney music, I'm fine with, honestly. I'll be, I'll jam to that. Frank Sinatra is uh, Under My Skin. That's pretty good. And uh, Nancy Sinatra's These Boots Are Walking are also pretty, pretty good. I would probably say David Bowie, specifically Heroes, that just, and uh, I really got into Kevin Abstract randomly. That song Empty that he did, that was like impactful. And probably Bon Jovi's Living on a Prayer because that, that, that just speaks to me. It's like all over the board. I love it. Top three right now um, would be All In by Little Baby. Number two, I'm gonna have to go with uh, Homecoming by Lil Uzi. And then number three, Dying Breed, uh, Polo G. Probably A Day in the Life by The Beatles. 
and then um, Time by Pink Floyd and Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. Yes. Well, number one is probably gonna have to be Come On Eileen by Dex's Midnight Runners. It's just such a classic, slamming and jamming constantly. Uh, Ever Since New York by Harry Styles is just beautiful. I idolize that man. And a uh, little bit more of a low-key one, uh, Prune You Talk Funny by Gus Dapperton. Lately, I don't know, I've been kind of like branching out and I've been more like late 60s, 70s lately. So I guess for like, like my first song will be All Along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix. You know, I love that song. And then for my second song, it's going to be um, Funky Worm by the Ohio Players. I mean, like the first time I heard that song, I was just like, I was like, oh. And then my third song um, is called Listen Up by Euro. That I had to go back to my hip hop because I love hip hop. The basic rap songs or like the basic pop songs probably wouldn't be my vibe because I like pretty out there music. Dang, you guys have good music taste. I'm so impressed. I know, that was such Dude. a variety of answers. I also just wanted to say hi to your cat in the back. I love cats. This is my roommate's cat, Coco. <laughs> it's in a box. I think I have my answer. I need to look away so that I don't see anyone's reactions because it's gonna make me so sad. But I'm only saying Spencer because of Disney. I don't know. I was like, I feel like that would just be a little, like Emily like likes all kinds of music, but that was the only thing that she didn't mention. So that's the only reason that I say that. I'm still covering my eyes because I'm gonna be so sad because I love you and you're so cute and fun. But just, I don't know if it would be the right vibe. Well, at least I'm not dead last. Best of luck to the rest of you. Feel rough. Feel rough. <laughs> Ain't the greatest thing to feel, honestly. I'm surprised I didn't be let me off right off the bat, honestly. Eh? Looking at all the other contestants, I'm just like. Fashion is very important to both me and Emily. So describe what you would wear on a first date. This isn't the first date. Like, I would probably wear what I'm wearing right now. Um, if it was cold outside, I've got this really cool vintage da jacket that's my dad's. It's like leather. Usually I like thrift all of my stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, you'll catch me in jeans. The, the one thing that I lack in my fashion is I just wear one pair of shoes and I wear them until I can't wear them anymore. I do the same thing. They're so old. Literally the sole of my shoe just came out yesterday, so. Dude, this, this thing, I need to like super glue it right now. It's <laughs> yeah. true. It would probably depend on what our first date was, but given what I'm planning, I'd probably go in something comfortable. Skydiving needs some kind of like comfortable clothing to go down in. Well, I would wear some nice slack pants and a polo style shirt as such like I have on. And we would kind of at least try to like, at least color coordinate with whatever we have going. I'm um, more of like an outdoors guy, so I wear stuff that, that are not too pretty that will get dirty when I'm hiking or whatnot. So pants that are a little bit rough, I don't know the, the term for that, and it gets colder up there, so I usually wear like a vintage jacket and uh, some, not usually not denim. I probably wear like a hoodie with a jersey over it, an oversized jersey. I probably like one of my favorite basketball players. Um, and some jeans, and I probably wear like some boots, some Timberlands, and maybe a hat. But yeah, that's probably something I would wear. Yeah. Um, it depends how formal, but if it's extra formal, I'll wear my uh, tuxedo romper that I have here. And then, um, if not, I will. <laughs> in actuality, I'd probably wear like a, a nice button down with maybe like a jean jacket, some khakis, and then um, probably just some Converse with that. Yeah. So I actually work in a thrift store and you can pretty much tell that immediately based on the way that I dress. So it'd probably be some quirky little like sweater type thing like men in crop tops 2020. Am I right or am I right? Yes. And uh, yeah, if not, I've got some real neat little high rise pants I just got and I've been meaning to wear them out somewhere. So knowing Emily and knowing how she's into the kind of like groovy kind of like psychedelic 70s thing, I took her to the disco ball and then I swear to God, I'm not just saying this, but like, I kind of like that like throwback old school style, you know? So I'd wear, probably wear like a pair of uh, black and white high top Converse, either like slacks or jeans. Nice looking jeans though, not bad ones, nice looking jeans. A plaid shirt, but over it I'd have like a, um, like a leather jacket or something like that. I'm so down to go to a disco ball, what? That sounds so fun. 
I don't want to hear like, I'm going to wear a Supreme hoodie <laughs> and skinny jeans, like skinny black jeans. I like my imagery. I like being able to picture what everybody told me. And the only one that I couldn't picture super vividly <laughs> was, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I literally need to close my eyes when I say it because I don't want to disappoint anyone. It's okay, mine are too. But come on, I'm so sorry. I just couldn't picture the fit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's cool. I honestly had no idea what I was wearing either. Anyway, good luck to the rest of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to know your answers next time. The question caught me off guard because, I don't know, it just, it just did. I was getting too much in my head. And it was pretty smart that they caught on that, like, I didn't have a concrete idea. We're talking about dates. So what's everybody's favorite restaurant? This is an easy answer. Don't overthink it. Just favorite restaurant. I know this is basic. I know that this is basic, but I love Chipotle. I've always loved Chipotle. It's, I spend $8 and I'm full. So I'm a big foodie and being in LA, there's tons of great restaurants, but the best restaurant in LA is called Bestia. And they have some of the most amazing pasta dishes I've ever had. Uh, my favorite restaurant would be Outback Steakhouse because it's like, you can, eat, you can eat a burger, you can eat a steak. I mean, it's, it's not focused on one thing, it's focused on like many other things. I'm gonna go with Olive Garden. I love pasta and I never get tired of pasta, yeah. Well, I'm at college right now and so um, next to the university there's this place called Baccio Italiano and it's like the best. I spend way too much every time and the owner always comes over and tells you about his time in the mafia and stuff and it's, oh, it's just the time. Sounds so fun. My mom is the most Southern person you'll find in the Pacific Northwest. So I'm always going towards like sweet chick, chicken and waffles type deal. You guys already know I like the kind of restaurant kind of stuff. So I kind of like themed restaurants. Cause I mean, like if I'm, if it's normal, I'll just get like a burger or something for Wendy's. But like, if I'm actually going out to eat, like I like themed like retro style restaurants so like you know like like um one example is nifty 50 stuff like that as much as i love olive garden i feel like because we're me, me and i'm are both like from the la area we're so, like we like our fun weird little like random restaurants and not that we don't like olive garden because olive garden is really cool too but everybody had good answers that that's the only reason that i'm saying that and I, i'm so sorry and and i keep my eyes closed because i feel bad and you're lovely so i'm so sorry I'm surprised I got it this far. I see you guys don't like Olive Garden, but it's okay. No, I'm playing. But uh, yeah, this is fun. Uh, have fun, guys. <laughs> yeah, I guess she uh, didn't like Olive Garden. I guess it was too basic. I'm still looking for a girl to to give uh, unlimited breadsticks and soups and salads to. So. This question is a give me a fun answer. No need to overthink it. Just tell us your honest answers. What's your dream vacation? I spent a month in Rome two summers ago uh, and I I just want to go back I've been thinking about it too much I really want to go back I really want to go I want to take the trains over to Austria see the Alps um, so yeah my dream vacation would be Italy Europe something like that that's so funny because that's actually my exact same answer too I've wanted to go to Italy and just travel around see the coasts it's so beautiful over there um, and more pasta, of course. Okay, so my dream vacation is, it's not really a dream vacation, but it's going to Tennessee to the cabins because they have like this off, these awesome cabins up in the woods. And I also just heard about this new Titanic ship that they have. You like go in and get a name. And then at the end, they tell you if you survived or not. And I like want to do that. I think my ideal vacation would probably be backpacking up in Northern Washington where I live. There's this area called the Enchantments. It's beautiful. But it's really hard to get a permit, so it's a hard, hard to attain vacation. So kind of a weirder answer, but I really want to go to Iceland at some point in my life. Like Northern Lights, absolute bucket list item for me. And there's like a recent, or there's a volcano that you can literally just go inside with like a funky little elevator. And uh, it seems dangerous to the point where it could just be fun. I don't know. I would take you to uh, St. Croix and the Virgin Islands. I don't know if you've heard of it. 
but it's where my mom's family's from and it's really like it's like a tropical island type and the reason why i would take you there is because one it's a pretty beautiful place i take you there you seem to like be kind of like that like, like you said you're about to earth so it's like nice a lot of like, animals there too there's a lot of um nice like tropical areas and basically i would do it because one we'd be on vacation and then two over there you kind of learn a little bit about your boyfriend's you know his family roots i would either say these are very very different but like italy or hawaii Obviously, outdoors girl, backpacking is right up her alley. Ice, like exploring Iceland, um, that's the coolest thing ever. It's like tropical Hawaii. I'm so sorry, Jalen. I just have to say Tennessee for the sole reason that all of the other answers are right up her alley. Not that the Titanic thing sounds like the coolest thing ever because that actually sounds awesome. But I'm so sorry, only because all the other answers were so like were so spot on with what we talked about prior. Thank you, and keep going, guys. <laughs>a fun question what's your dream profession like what do you want to do when you're older for me dream profession i'd really just like to be at a place where i can um you know tell good stories like you know um either if it's with acting or filmmaking or something like that um you know and and empower people to tell their stories and things like that so it's kind of broad it's not a um sure thing but i mean that or like being a race car driver, but I'm not gonna make that, I think, so. So I'm actually a biz major and I always enjoy helping other people out. So I thought going down the route of venture capital and helping other people produce their ideas would be something that I'm just all for. So I would love to end up in venture capital. I think a job that I've been really interested in doing recently is uh, wilderness therapy. So it's, um, it's usually backpacking in like a rehabilitation environment for people who have gone through different struggles and just using nature as a way of bringing people back to their like bare roots to like rebuild themselves. I just have to be like somewhere performing music. Right now, like I'm trying to teach myself to produce stuff. I'm teaching myself like three different instruments at once. So like if, if I end up on the street busking, like that's, I'm good with that. <laughs> I would have my own like restoring a classic car company because like I love classic cars so much like my favorite car is a 1978 Pontiac Firebird GTO and I just like the idea of just like you know bringing them back to life. I probably want someone who would be more on the artistic side of things because that's very much how I think and I feel like I'd get along with them better. I only say this because I know Miss Emmy loves the wilderness so that's that's an instant check off miss emmy <laughs> loves anything that will help people with whether it's like overcoming better things for themselves or whether it's helping them come up with ideas like that's something that she would love to be a part of i know music she, she obviously loves music she's an artist the only thing that she doesn't know a lot about is cars that's the only thing I don't know if she, I mean, we've never talked about it. We've talked about a lot of other things. She might know a lot about cars, but this is the only thing that I was like, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't fit right in, but that's still the coolest thing ever. My eyes are closed because I feel bad because I really like you, Preston, so I feel really horrible. Before I go, I just want to say, Emily, you're amazing, you're funny, and just remember, there are a lot of bad guys out there. Make sure you pick one of the good ones. I mean, what can I do? What can I say? <laughs> she's on the car, she's on the car. All right, so I think you'll all be able to answer this relatively easily. You all seem like fun outdoor people. So what's your ideal outdoor day? Like, what would you do? Hiking, surfing, walking around the town? I'm actually from Austin. I grew up in Austin, Texas. And so like an ideal outdoor day, there's a lot of like, um, like, like springs and like really cool water holes and things over there. So like maybe going to Barton Springs or like, um, uh, Jacob's Well. Jacob's Well is so sick. It's it's an entrance to an underwater cave, and uh, there's like like free diving and stuff over there. So in an ideal day, you know, it's nice and warm out. We drive out there, Jacob's Well, absolutely. My ideal day out would probably start in the Palisades. There's this 
amazing view where you can see straight downtown all the way over to the Santa Monica Pier. And we'd start up there and just end up down on the beach. Um, I've just started getting into spike ball and it is so much fun. So that's how I would spend my ideal outdoor day. Um, near my house in Washington is the Columbia River. So there's the Columbia River Gorge and it's just all of these like beautiful evergreen trees and stuff. And there's like a million hikes out there. So probably go into a hike there. And then usually when I'm done, I go to this drive up like independent burger joint that just has the best burgers and the worst service. It's, it's it feels very homely. <laughs> at some point, there's going to be a roller rink involved. I have to go roller skating with somebody at some point. Then just like sort of working the way around, maybe find a nice park to sit down and have a cute little picnic type thing. And then um, maybe just like a nice dinner on some sort of rooftop restaurant because I live in New York and that's what we do. <laughs> the beach, probably go surfing, go snorkeling, maybe go on a hike, which could be in the mountains. So like if they say like hike in the mountains, still be down. Um, and then, yeah, like probably a beach day, like surfing, swimming, tanning <laughs> at the beach. Uh, now I've lived with everybody who is like, always answers the right things. So I'm like, I don't know. You are all, you all seem correct. They all seem correct. <laughs> Anything water, like ocean springs, totally. Like that's very, um, uh, hiking. Oh no, Jared, I love you. But it, that was the only, it was, it was the only thing that like, I was like, I, I just didn't get the, the full details. And I know that if you had given me the full details, I would have been like, perfect answer. But I just, I'm so sorry. I think you're lovely. It's so nice meeting you, Emily. Thank you, Lilia. Have a great day, you guys. Nice to meet you too. I was really bummed that uh, Emily wasn't down to go on that outdoorsy date. Uh, I thought it would be so cool to go start up in the top of the Palisades and then end up at the beach, but um, you know, I, I hope it worked out. You have no restrictions, it can be indoors, but what's your dream date? I would say, I would say a concert as like, like a more accessible one. Going to a concert, you know, a band that like you and I both like, because I feel like we might have some similar music taste. Back when I lived in Washington, I really enjoyed going to like, random concerts with my friends in Portland, Oregon. So not not to steal from Josh, but that works. But also you really can't beat like the deep talks on a hike. That's really how I get to know someone. So I feel like it would probably start out at like just a record store or a thrift store. One of those little things that you don't get to do with other people very often. And uh, I'm like a bit of a movie buff. So as cliche as it is, maybe like just go see whatever kind of drive-in movie type thing is happening at the moment. I probably wouldn't like if he was just like, come over <laughs> to my house. Like, we should chill at my house. Cause like, we all know how that ends up. Okay, I'm honestly just gonna take into account all of the answers because those were all such good answers. And I'm only saying this because, Clay, the only problem is you're in college. You're in college and that's hard. Because college is far away, and college is hard. I'm so sorry, Clayton. You're perfect, and you're lovely, and I love your Joe Biden flags. I want that. Joe Biden, dude. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Sorry, Emily. You could have gotten the flag, but it's not, dude. See you later. Nice to meet you. So disappointed. I can't believe this. I feel like um, Emily's just going to wake up one day and be like, wow, Lily uh, really did me dirty because uh, Clayton's gone. Dang, dude, she was a Disney Channel star. Last question. Why should I pick you for my best friend who deserves literally the whole world? <laughs> I think you should pick me because I, I'm a really good communicator and I um, am expressive and I love art and um, yeah, yeah, I think I think I have, a, you know, above average communication skills and I am able to express how I'm feeling. I am just one of those people who's always trying to put those who are close to me first. So like, I really do my best to make sure that like everything is going well. I'm doing what I can to be there and be supportive. 
I, my roommates will tell you I'm not exactly a boring person to be around. I'm constantly just like coming up with little just like bits and songs that I'll just walk into their room and annoy them with. And um, I like to think I'm entertaining, but I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with Campbell because I heard the word supportive and entertaining and Emily is a spicy Sag and she needs the like spontaneity and the like, wow, like what are we doing today? Let's go crazy. Like, I'm gonna, like, let's just, woo, you know? But Josh, you are amazing and so nice and would have been like, you're both great picks. I, this is, this is so hard. You both were lovely and amazing. If I was gonna lose to somebody, I was hoping it was gonna be Campbell great guy you know and i don't have the best track rec record with sagittarius's anyways so i don't know if it would have worked out all right bye guys great to meet everybody nice to meet you all around i am just as shocked as you are at home <laughs> big old celebration hands am i right feels pretty good you know i feel a bit more handsome um i think you know uh my opponent was a really great guy he had some better answers and uh i don't feel bad about losing i thought that lilia and emily were super cute i think lilia did a good job picking him honestly i think the cat yeah oh my god i can't see hi hi this is so my god we are well. matching outfits what i'm i totally planned yeah <clears throat> <laughs> 100%. <laughs> no baby. So yes, Emily, Campbell, Campbell, Emily. From the minute the cat walked in, I'm gonna be this kid. Um, Emily loves her cats, especially that it's kind of like a half black cat we've always wanted. I know. Mm -hmm. You got a little tuxedo? A little tuxedo! <laughs> Um, you guys really, you have like similar aesthetics, similar vibes, similar music taste, similar every, like it was just very fitting and I was like, oh, thank God, like someone who I actually will, would have faith in. And the fact that like, you're spontaneous, you guys are both like, I just, it, similar, similar vibes. If anything, you guys would be like fun friends. I loved Campbell the whole time. He was so awesome. All of his answers were spot on. I knew Lily was gonna pick him because I was like, yeah, like his answers were like, fun. I, yeah, he just seemed like a cool guy and he had a cat in a box and I was like, he's just, he's gonna, in the he's box. gonna be the winner. He's what? gonna be the winner. But um, no, like I saw like, I saw all the stuff in the background and like, then I, I saw like your, I saw you perk up a little bit when uh, Preston had mentioned Hendrix earlier. Like, I just, I just see like the old soul type thing just from like, purely an outside perspective and then like you were just talking about all this other cool stuff and, and i'm excited to get this night yes i think lily did a, such a good job um i think she couldn't have done any better i i'm glad that i trusted her my bestie picked my bae long distance is something that has come up in my past and i think honestly we don't like we just met. Labels do not have to be put anywhere at all. But like just having somebody new to talk to that's like as chill as Emily is, is something I'm very excited about. What's your sign? Actually, yeah, what's your sign? Okay, so I'm Capricorn on the cusp of Aquarius and my moon and rising are both in Cancer. Oh my God, I love Cancers. Yeah, I'm a Sagittarius. Ooh, spicy. Yep, spicy Sag. <laughs> my bestie picked my bae. I think she picked the perfect person. I think she did a very good job. I'm very impressed. I knew it was going to be him when he started talking about music. And he said a lot of the same people that we listen to. So I was like, mm, yeah. And then he was talking about like record stores. And he said that he worked at a thrift shop. And I was like, uh, yeah. And then a cat came out in a box. And I was like, yeah. He like pulls up his cat and he's like, look, it's in a box. And I was like, you. It's done. You. It was really cool, like not being able to see anything, you know? Cause I feel like, so, like when you see someone, like you automatically start like making assumptions about them. And like, it was, it was really cool to have the whole blindfolded experience because I feel like it's a really cool way to like find someone genuinely because you don't think of anything else, even subconsciously. It's just like all about what they're saying. So it was really cool. The hardest one to eliminate someone on was 
particular, the jobs or the dates, because everybody at that point had good answers. And I was like, everybody is like, I could see Emily liking every single one of these. So like, I don't know. It, th those were definitely the two artists. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. And for more videos like this, remember to subscribe to 17th channel.